Okay, now I explain how to use our very latest uh, additional tool called Query Database in Sketchy Topo. Um, to do so, we first uh, need to do some uh, setup before using it, uh, which is to locate the database file. So, as you can see um, here, um, the um, initially uh, the system. Uh, complains that it failed to find uh, the, this specific um, patches.dv file. Um, so it, it's located at the home folder and, and in Windows 7 it's uh, and on my computer it's like this. So see uh, users slash Kenshi and so um, first I uh, it's uh, necessary to place the corresponding um, database file um, to that location. Actually, I have them here already. Um, so this is this uh, home folder for me. And uh, I need to, so I usually, what I do usually is that because there are few different versions of the database, uh, one is full sized uh, which is currently like 2.7 gigabytes um, there are other versions with a smaller size like 700 megabytes or even 150 megabytes and so and the bigger uh, database takes more time to load um, and I uh, I usually pick this one uh, with 700 megabytes uh, depending on the you know, computational power of your machine. Uh, you can choose one of them, um, and and then yeah. Uh, once I have patches.db at this uh, home folder, I relaunch this uh, program, and uh, it now started starts reading uh, or loading the database, and uh, on my computer it will take about half, mis half a minute or so, yeah. Minutes, even less, uh, 12 seconds. Um, and then now we are ready to start using that tool. Um, okay, so now I demonstrate how to use it. Um, so the hotkey for the uh, query database node is S. Um, and first, uh, you need to click on the patch that you want to edit. And the patch uh, is highlighted in red. Now the next step is to uh, draw a stroke that uh, starts from uh, some side and ends at some other side. Or, yeah, and the system uh, dynamically, it presents the best uh, solution found so far, and so the current status is shown at the top of the window, and uh, this number that it's being increased uh, over time is just the dynamic update, uh, dynamically updated search result, and the patch index zero means that the current uh, solution is the zero, zero uh, solution in the ordering. And I can uh, explore uh, or I can browse all different solutions uh, by you know, increasing or decreasing the patch index. So in increasing the index is uh, by pressing X and decreasing is Z. You can also directly uh, input uh, any number into this uh, in text box uh, called index under patch db um, on query db menu uh, group. Um, yeah, and you can uh, draw another stroke, and uh, just simply drawing another stroke will uh, clear the previous one, previous stroke. And this uh, redrawing of stroke can be done while doing the search. Um, and this will uh, invoke a uh, search again. 
you can also add a new stroke uh, by uh, a second stroke by each holding shift and then drawing a stroke. Hmm. Hey, I did something wrong. Um, in, in this kind of uh, case that we want to cancel the search, it's, you can press this stop button. Oh, uh, actually it stopped before I pressing the button. Um, and I can delete the uh, previous, uh, you know, most recent stroke and then uh, draw another script again and that will start start the search and uh, you can also draw a stroke that is uh, like closed loop um, yeah now, this is another type of stroke um, and one thing that I want to mention is that uh, this because the result is dynamically updated, for example, if I, I, I have this patch index 10, but the result changes over time because this ordering changes dynamically as the search progresses. So sometimes you don't want to let the system override uh, your current mesh. That you might want to spend more time to examine the current mesh. And if you want to, you know, preserve the current mesh, uh, then this uh, check check this freeze um, option, and that will you know uh, prevent the system from overriding uh, the current uh, mesh. Um, but also notice that this uh, with this freeze button checked, um, the system just doesn't update the uh, in a currently shown result unless the user presses the key and you know uh, changes the patch index so um, usually when you uh, do a, another search it, it's better to you know check it uh, uncheck it um, yeah um, there are a few parameters uh, or actually the uh, there are kind of search filters uh, like in web uh, search systems. Um, so the first filter is the number of uh, max maximum number of similarities. Um, and for example, uh, if I uh, want to limit the number of similarities further, uh, first when uh, when adjusting these uh, parameters, search parameters, it's better to stop the search and not doing it while the search is in progress. Um, and let's say I limit the number of similarities to less than, let's say, four uh, similarities. And then I rerun the search with the same stroke. And yeah, this is the only possible uh, set of solutions. Um, and if I increase it, um, of course I get more different solutions. So this is a very simple uh, search filter. Um, let's stop it. And also, um, there are a few other filters. Uh, most relevant is, I think, this max variance. Um, and currently it's a variance 5. And if I increase it to 6, then I start to see uh, results with a uh, six uh, variance similarity or um, this, this kind of uh, special vertex is called uh, variance six similarity in academia and I don't know how it's called in industry uh, but sometimes uh, you, it's okay to have it and uh, depending on the context I guess so yeah with this number uh, means the maximum allowed uh, variance for the similarity uh, and you could have it even more like 7 or 8 and so you start to see more crazy um, yeah, similarities like this one um, yeah, this is another uh, 
search filter. Um, and I like to have it to just the whole quality of five. And yeah, for other uh, small settings, these are not so yeah relevant or uh, not well grounded, I'd say. Um, so yeah, that's it.